here in the off season. Um, kind of tell me about going there, get, getting you working in the barn, and um, you two knowing probably you're going to have a, a much bigger role this year with with Zach Knight here. Yeah, no, I had a um, I had a camp that I put on for you know some college guys to you know not only work on um, you know basketball skill but also you know themselves mentally and spiritually. So. Um, he was just lucky, to be, you know, obviously we're lucky to have him to be a part of that. And um, we worked hard, we worked hard. So I'm proud of him, put in the work. And yeah, we obviously, since he's my teammate, we worked on some Purdue specific things that we can um, look at uh, and look forward to this year. Courtney said that the form <coughs> shooting was one of your real emphases. Courtney uh, Dell? Yeah. yeah, 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 it was, it was. Cause I've never, you know, I was growing up, going into high school, I was always the pretty much the biggest guy, so like I never really got to shoot growing mm -hmm. up, and so like no one taught me how to form shoot. So I think working with Courtney on form shooting and um, you know obviously her and um, JD Jordan Delks, um, both incredible shooters. So yeah, just picking their brain a little bit, um, as well as some other guys that were up there on, on shooting. And so they said that was one of the biggest things that helped. So. Is that going to be important for you? Uh, I assume you're going to start off to the five. Assume I, yeah, well, obviously yeah. things remain to be seen, but how important is it for you to be able to stretch the floor from that position? It's uh, it's big. I mean, that's where the game is, right? That's where you know. I think we can, especially with my um, you know athletic ability to to go around you know bigger guys. I think being able to hit the three ball, can kind of get them out, and then you can you know it opens up the floor. So um, I think that'll be big time. Just how big of an opportunity is this for you? With all of the Zach's post touches, you know, being up for grabs and. You presumably being the guy who gets a lot of them. Yeah, no, it's a it's it's a huge opportunity for me. Um, you know, I'm not I'm not stupid. I feel like I could have, um, you know, if I got double the amount of touches I did last year, triple the amount of touches right there, I'd be one of the leading scorers on the team. I mean, just respectfully, honestly. So, um, but we had an incredible team. I mean, so it's one of those things where I'm I'm proud of the roles that I've been given. Um, but this year, I do got to step it up and take advantage of the you know greater bulk of shots I'm going to get. I was playing drop coverage defensively for you. For me? Yeah. If that's what you're doing. Um. Well, today we worked on we worked on drop because we were trying to get especially the new guys to work on veers. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, I think I'd be more of a red guy, more of a switch guy, especially if we're playing that kind of small ball lineup. But obviously, it depends on who we have on the floor. Mm -hmm. So I'm comfortable doing both. I've done. I started out doing more of a drop. And then last year I did more for it, so I'm comfortable doing both, to be honest with you. Did you put more of a conscientious effort into nutrition in the offseason? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I even moved. I'm not going to be living at Fuse. I'm going to be living at, there's a place called Revive at, uh, by Chick-fil-A, so I'm going to be going to the dining court some more. They've <laughs> um, got a good salad bar, um, chicken breast. They've got a lot of, you know, different things. And then, you know, Braden also said that, um, He's hooking up with a girl that's going to, I think it's like $15 or something for like pre-made meals and working with our nutritionists here. So that's gonna be one of the biggest things for me. You gonna disguise yourself when you go to the dining courts? No, I, w I went a <laughs> decent amount last year, um, even though I was, you know, quite a, quite a distance away. Um, but no, it's fun interacting with the students. I miss that. You know, a lot of guys don't <laughs> recognize we don't get like the typical t the college experience because we're, you know, so consumed with athletics. So it's kind of cool getting um, to know the students here. Yeah. When you were getting post touches, but Zach's also in there clogging up a lot of space. Do you prefer to have maybe more room to work with than obviously there was a lot of guys just hanging out in the post last year? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I feel like every time I got the ball on the block, it was almost like a double team, right? If I beat my man, there was another guy that was waiting there. So there's that, but it was also the combination of Zach's, again, so dominant that I may go a couple games without getting like a post touch. So when you get the ball, you're not really in rhythm. You're not expecting it. And so I missed a bunch of like bunnies that I would normally hit last year. So um, yeah, no, I'm just excited to, you know, like I said, be rhythm, get consistent touches. How much of a job is it to tweak your jump, jump shot? Um, I've thought about it. I've thought about that a lot, you know. Um, I'm of the opinion now that I think it's one of those things where I've actually done a lot of studies on it and like like what mentally you're thinking about when you're shooting, you know, whether it's more of a form thing. I've put a lot of time into it. So yep. I think right now mechanics wise, I'm I'm fine. I just gotta, you know, make sure I'm mentally thinking of the right things um, 
when I'm shooting. I know it's kind of a technical thing, but I know a lot of times, especially when I was at the free throw line, I would think naturally because of who I am, like how the ball felt on my hands or how, and like the studies show that if you think of like more of like the focus, so just making the shot instead of how the ball actually feels in your hands, um, like you, your brain retains more of the information better. So a lot of people on this team have said you're a pretty critical thinker about everything. Is there a danger in overthinking things sometimes, maybe a little bit? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. It's a, it's a double-edged sword for me. Uh, it slows me down. Um, but other times, especially you know, when I have the ball in my hands, um, you know, there, there's some plays that I'm able to make that other people aren't able to make, just some processing. Um, but, yeah, it's a double-edged sword. It's always been my way. Now that you've been here for a while, how – I guess, do you embrace your role as a, a leader? And I don't know, you, you, don't, you don't seem like a very outspoken guy, sometimes kind of quiet guy, but you know as a veteran and a team with a lot of freshmen, you've got to be a leader of this team. Yeah, 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 no, absolutely. Um, like I said, it was one situation where in the role I was last year, I didn't have to be that guy. So mm -hmm. I was kind of more reserved, more to myself, and we won a lot of games. But because of the different role, I am going to have to step up. I've tried to do, do a better job of socializing with my teammates, um, getting out more, hanging out with my teammates more, um, and just getting to know the new guys and getting them caught up. I think, especially with this team, um, we're going to play faster. A lot more people are going to get shots. Um, and so just getting everybody situated and um, understanding the system is my biggest goal.